what is up y'all what is up i'm back i'm back i'm back okay y'all i've been gone for like what a good two weeks now i have not posted a video in like two weeks um i know i posted like a little short the other day when i was out of town of like some body care products that i took with me and i was gonna make that a video and be like oh this is what i brought with me on my trip but y'all when i tell y'all i just have not been in the recording mood like i have been so busy work has been busy and i've just been kind of like in a mood i don't know if you guys are into like the full moon cycles and just the cycles of the moon in general but i notice anytime there's a full moon i'm just a little bit more moody i'm just like i don't really want to socialize as much and i just kind of try to stay to myself and so um it was a full moon in aquarius which I am an Aquarius. So I just, I don't know, the past couple of weeks, y'all, I've just been real, just kind of anti, like hanging out with, you know, my friends and my family, like real sporadically. But I've really just been in my shell, just been in my crib, like just chilling. And of course, I've still been posting and active on like Instagram. So if you guys are ever missing me on here for whatever reason, you guys literally follow me on Instagram. I post on Instagram probably every day, at least on my stories. Um, but yeah, I always post on there <laughs> before I post anything on YouTube. So Y'all, that's where I've been at, if y'all care. Some of y'all care, some of y'all don't. But if you don't, girl, fast forward. But of course, y'all, last week I said I was going to vlog my trip. I did not because, like I said, me, I come first. And I was just not feeling it last week. So I did have a great time. I went to the Chris Brown and Lil Baby concert. It was amazing. I loved it. I love both of them. And um, I just picked, I've been picking up stuff, okay? I've been picking up stuff. So, y'all, I got an Ulta, I got an Ulta haul coming from the Ulta Diamond Day from yesterday or whenever I'm posting this I think this is like the final final day so hopefully I get it up um because y'all you know y'all definitely can shop but I won't be posting it because you guys voted that you guys want to see my haul collectively like with what I picked up in store and what I ordered online which I did buy online pick up in store because they were only doing the 10 times the points on the app and on the website so my online pickup and store items I have right now, but I do have to wait for them to send me my, um, I do have to wait for them to send me my online order, which is probably going to come sometime this weekend. And I probably won't film realistically until next week, Monday, that video. Cause yeah, I've got that coming. I also have my empties video from July coming, which we're halfway through August. And I'm just now filming it. Sorry. Oh, well. Um, and then I also have um, this gigantic Marshall slash TJ Maxx mashup of things that I've picked up in the last week or so. So, girl, we got a lot. We got a lot coming. Um, and yeah, if y'all have any requests, let me know. But I definitely have a lot of stuff planned and I'm trying to get caught up because I do have some other things that I need to film that are like short little videos. Like I need to review the Skylar um for Walk Delight, which if you follow me on Instagram, you will see I posted that the other day. I um, I just have some stuff we gotta talk about, girl. So anyways, let's just jump into this because I wanna go ahead and record it and get it up and I did not want this to be super long, but y'all know, y'all know how I do. So <laughs> this is going to be a haul of all of the new Bath & Body Works body care. Um, the fall body care, I guess this is like phase two or whatever phase this is of the fall body care rollout. I literally did not smell any of this before. I have not owned any of these scents before, except for two, I believe. Um, so these are all new to me. So if they're repackages or whatever, y'all let me know. But um, yeah, I have not smelled any of them and I just have not gotten around to getting to the store to pick any of them up. So I was like, I think it'll be fun to just do like a blind buy situation because I know not everybody agrees, but I love blind buying, okay? I love blind buying stuff. I love reading notes and being like, oh, I might like this. Let me try it. And then when I get home playing around with it and seeing if I like it, like that brings me joy. Not everybody agrees. Um, some people feel like you have to be totally in love with something before you buy it. And I'm not one of those people. So if you are to each your own, to each its own. But yeah, I like blind buying because most of the time, y'all, I find a way to make things work for me. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> let's get into it, y'all. I got my pink on and that's gonna bring me to the very first scent that I wanna talk about. So I've told you guys before, I'm not a super girly girl. I'm not a super pink girl, okay? But I have my days where I'm in the mood where I'm just like, I wanna be pink. So that's what today is. That is what today's scent of the day is. My perfume is the C, uh, excuse me, Giorgio Armani C Fiori. So this is the one in the blush pink bottle. Um, 
I would probably say out of all the C flankers, this one and the C Intense, um, the C Intense in the clear bottle, not the C Intense in the black bottle, are probably my favorite two flankers out of the C line. Um, I like the original C, but I don't really reach for it. I think I actually gave the original one to my mom. So I only own this one in the C um, Intense right now. So yeah, but anyways, so I paired this with y'all this bag is so heavy like i did i did some damage girl okay, okay y'all sorry i had to dig through the bag because i thought that i did not get a fine for christmas for this but my sin of the day is bath and body works pink suede with my c fiori loving the combo right now y'all it just smells really good i think honestly right now i'm smelling more of the perfume itself but yeah so the notes in this one um this is one of the newer ones i believe that like just came out in the past couple of days some people some people's stores were getting it early i'm pretty sure my store had it early i just have not like had a time had time to go in there so the notes in this one are blush berries velvet peonies and soft cotton so i'm assuming these are all um the newly reformulated body creams like i guess now all of them are like in a new formula but the packaging of this one is really really cute i love like the little braided detail and i did not get any shower gels y'all i literally only got body creams and fine fragrance mist because as y'all know i feel like fine fragrance mist lasts an extremely long time and i've been doing a lot better with using up my body creams and things like that um i just prefer these over the lotions so that's what i got and as you guys know i cannot do bath and body work shower gels anymore i have to use other things so as far as for what she smells like i grabbed some little note cards y'all i meant to grab some more um actual tester strips from bath and body works but i kind of forgot so we gonna spray it on camera Y'all, I don't know. On first sniff, this reminds me so much of this. I don't know why. Because they're not dupes of each other, but it's like they remind me of each other. I don't know. Like when I first smelled the pink suede, I immediately thought of this perfume. And I was like, I need to pair these together. So this is not a layering video, y'all. This is literally just my scent of the day. I really love this. Like, I can't say it's my favorite of the pick right now because I haven't smelled any of the other ones really but I really really love this one like I was very shocked I was expecting it to be kind of basic kind of look you know whatever but it reminds me of like like a grown-up version of pink chiffon like you know how pink chiffon has that cutesy girly candy fluffy airy like lightness play like playfulness about it I feel like this reminds me of that, but it has maybe like a more like slightly grown up vibe. I'm assuming that is maybe the peonies or like the cotton. I don't know y'all, but this is a very like light, fluffy, cute, cozy type of scent. Like this is definitely a really, really good transitional scent from summer to fall. Or I can even see this being a really cute spring scent, honestly, because of the, um, the peonies like I'm finding that a lot of perfumes and things that I like lately have peony in it. So that is definitely a note that I like clearly. Um, it also reminds me a lot of that Floral Street Wonderland peony for some reason. It's got that same like peony cotton candy vibe. So I definitely feel like this would layer great with the Wonderland peony as well, um, which I will probably layer it with at some point, but yeah. This is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I really like it. Um, it's definitely something non-offensive that I don't think would like throw anybody off. And you know, you could easily wear this to work, or wear this in a cute date night, wear it out with your girls. Like this is definitely a very universal um, scent. So yeah. Also y'all, mind you, these are my first impressions. I have not worn any of these all day to let you know how long they last. These are literally just my thoughts on the scents themselves and how I feel about them. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So the next one is Bonfire Bash. So fun fact, I never actually owned Bonfire Bash. I know when this scent originally came out and it came out with like pumpkin picking. I think pumpkin picking was the only one I actually really, really liked. Like I did not like Bonfire Bash way back when. Um, And I was like, you know what? It'll be fun for me to 
try it again when my scent profile and like my scent preference has matured a little bit because I feel like back then that was like I don't remember when Bonfire Bash like originally released but I feel like it released maybe like six seven years ago maybe longer than that so I feel like back then I was just into cute bubblegum you know sweet everything got to be sweet like I didn't want anything extra in my scents but now obviously now that I have you know a perfume collection and I appreciate more like sexy scents like I feel like I might be able to appreciate this a little bit more so I was like let me try it and see how I like it so yeah I don't know if this is a re-release or if my store just had like this packaging from a previous year or not I don't know um but if y'all know let me know in the comments i just saw my store had it um and it was in the same section as some of the newer scents so yeah so this one um they did not have the body cream in so i just got the fine fragrance mist and the lotion but the notes are vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk so now now that i know i love scents that contain musk and vanilla bourbon and, and sandalwood like i'm just like why did I not like this the first time? So this is me re-smelling it again. I literally, like I told y'all, I have not smelled this yet. Um, I haven't smelled it since I first smelled it like a really, really long time ago. So yeah, we'll see if I like it now. a greater appreciation for this now literally years ago i did not like this y'all this is sexy this is sexy i am so glad i gave this one a chance and that's just so crazy y'all that just goes to show you how as you get older your scent preferences really change like you literally can start off thinking that you only like a particular scent and this isn't even really like this is still considered a gourmand i just feel like the sandalwood adds a sexiness to this but you get the vanilla bourbon. Oh my God, it's so sexy. Like, what does this remind me of? This kind of reminds me a little bit of like Ariana Grande's like R.E.M. a little bit where it kind of has like that woodsy sweetness. But then the vanilla bourbon reminds me of the vanilla bourbon that's in like YSL Libre Intense. Oh, it's so good, y'all. It's so good. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. Like, this even reminds me a little bit of the Wicked Vanilla Woods. Like, it's just got that sexy, deep type of, like, sultry vibes to it. And I don't know, a long time ago, I thought that this smelled, like, stank. Like, I thought it smelled like smoke for some reason. So, I don't know if they reformulated it and made it sweeter or what. But whatever the case may be, y'all, I'm really digging Bonfire Bash this year. So, yeah. Oh, smells so good. Okay, y'all. The next one that I have is Ivory Cashmere. Um, I really love the packaging on this line, y'all. Like, this little braided situation is so cute. It will be so pretty on, like, a vanity. Um, but the notes in this one are fresh lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber. So, again, I love a musk scent. I love an amber scent. So, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm going to like this. I'm not sure about the fresh lakeside air. I don't know. I always, I don't know. I guess you can consider air to be just... A note that makes things smell light and, and fluffy-ish type of vibe but yeah I've always just been like how can air be you know I don't know anyways y'all let's smell it mm. okay this reminds me of so many perfumes Yeah, on first sniff, this reminds me of so many musky amber perfumes. Like, I, f I feel like somebody who likes Ariana Grande's Cloud would like this. Just because it just kind of gives me that same feel where it's like light and fluffy. I wouldn't necessarily say this one is particularly sweet. It's just very, like, a very intimate scent, like like dossiers you not dossier glossiers you um or like clean um the clean brand uh the skin scent like it just gives me that kind of vibe like there's a lot of musk in here but in a good way like the amber makes it smell just really cozy and like i don't know 
I think maybe the air scent is what's making it kind of light. But yeah, I really like this. Like this is definitely something not offensive. Definitely will be great for layering purposes. Like this is really good. This is really good. I like this one for sure. I would probably give this one, my initial thoughts, I'd probably give it a seven out of 10 just because it's not super, super beast mode. Like again, this is a five figures miss we're talking about, but I definitely feel like the name is spot on with what it is. This is a very soft, pretty, almost unisex. I feel like this could almost be unisex because I wouldn't really say that this is particularly sweet. Yeah, it's already kind of fading off the paper, so there's that, but I definitely can see this being layered with a lot of perfumes for sure to give like your perfumes maybe some more like musky vibes or skin scent type of vibes if it's like too sweet. So yeah, I definitely like this one a lot. Okay, girl. Next we have Cozy Season. So I'm going to tell y'all, when I first picked this up, I was excited only because I like assumed from the color and the packaging that this was that candle that I talked about in one of my walkthrough videos, the um, Cuddle Weather, I think, the Cuddle Weather candle. And I loved how that candle smells. So I just kind of assumed just from the color, because they're literally like the same color. I just assumed from the color, I was like, oh, that's that candle I like. But then I realized this is a completely different scent. So I don't know if this is a repackage or not, y'all. Like I said, all, almost all of these are new to me, except for um, Bonfire Bash and um, one other one that I'm going to talk about. But if it's a repackage, y'all let me know. But the notes on this one are soft lavender, golden honey, and creamy oak. Now, I was a little nervous with the lavender note because lavender either smells really stank to me or it smells really good. Like the lavender NYSL Libre, they did that great. But there's another, I cannot think of the perfume right now. There's another perfume that has lavender in it that I cannot stand. The lavender just went totally to the left for me. Um, so... Lavender, I don't know. It can go good or bad, so we about to see. Okay, this is doable. I don't know why so many of these are reminding me of Ariana Grande perfumes. Like, I feel like there's a, I can't think of it right now, and I'm not pulling up my laptop to tell y'all what it is, but I want to say it's God is a Woman. I can't remember. It's either God is a Woman or R.E.M. One of them has a lavender note in it that makes it kind of unisex. And I feel like this that's what this is giving. Like this definitely could also be unisex just like the um, Ivory Cashmere. But I like it, it is a sweet lavender. It's definitely not like anything cloying that would give you a headache. It's definitely not giving me like an aromatherapy vibe because sometimes lavender scents I feel like give you that vibe that it should be an aromatherapy. But I like this, the honey in here and there's like a little tiny bit of like woodiness, which I guess is coming from the creamy oak. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. This is definitely a very sweet lavender. Like it's not offensive. It would not give you a headache. Like I feel like I could douse myself down in this and I would have like a nice little scent bubble and somebody would be like, oh my God, you smell really good. Like this would be a great scent where if you were like to go and hug somebody, they would be like, oh, you smell good. Like, you know? Yeah. If you like YSL Libre or whatever that Ariana Grande perfume is that has lavender in it, you would definitely like this. Um, and this would definitely be late, great to layer with either of those two. So yeah. I'm basically telling y'all la layering combos as I go, right? I guess. I don't know. I might do a layering video with these. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I like this one. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 just because I don't feel like it's anything groundbreaking, earth shattering. Like I feel like this could easily be kind of a forgotten scent. Like, I don't feel like I would smell this and be like, oh my God, that's Bath and Body Works uh, cozy season. You know what I'm saying? But it does smell good and I will definitely be keeping it and layering it with stuff. So yeah, seven out of 10 for this one. Okay, y'all. And then the last one from this particular line is Sweater Weather, which again, I don't think I have ever owned Sweater Weather in the body care. Um, I owned it in the candle here or there, but for whatever reason, like back then, I just... I'm not gonna say I didn't like sweater weather. Um, I just don't really remember loving it, if that makes sense. So if I've ever talked about sweater weather on my channel, I really don't remember if I have or not. But um, yeah, girl, I just, I don't know. This was never a scent that I just felt like was a necessity for me that I needed. So yeah, that's my tea on sweater weather. But 
for whoever does not already know about it because she has been around for a while um the notes are sun crisp apple autumn leaves and orchard woods now before i smell this y'all from what i can remember i feel like the reason why i never particularly cared for sweater weather is in the past to me for whatever reason it's it smelled like toothpaste so i'm interested to see if i like it this year because yeah i don't know y'all i'm still not crazy about this i'm still not crazy about it I definitely prefer this as a candle and not really body care. Something about this is very masculine to me, like the woods in here. What is it? Woods? Yeah, orchard woods. It's like really overpowering to me. Like it's not like a boom in your face scent, but at the same time, the woods is taking over for this one. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I still don't like sweater weather in the body care. I know people are crazy about it and love it. And this is like a cult favorite, but I've never been crazy about it in the candle or the body care. I feel like I've had the candle a few times and it's just been like, okay, cool. But I don't know. And for some reason, it's still giving me toothpaste vibes. I don't know, y'all. It's something about it that like, it's giving me a headache smelling it. Like, I don't know. Something about this one is a little too unisex for me, like borderline more masculine than unisex. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of this one. Um, I smell the apple in here. Like I do smell the apple and it smells nice. It's just the woodiness in the background is taking over this scent for me to where I'm really not really feeling it. So. I'm gonna give this a two out of 10. Like, I don't know, maybe a three. It's not horrible. The apple is balancing it out quite a bit, but yeah. And again, y'all, I'm not even trying the body cream. So maybe the body cream might be sweeter. I don't know, but I'm just going off of the fine fragrance mist and off the fine fragrance mist, I'm not really feeling it. So yeah, sweater weather, she gets a three out of 10 from me because if you like sweeter scents or muskier scents or scents with like amber and stuff like that, I don't particularly feel like this is a need. Um, so yeah, I'm either gonna probably return this or give it away, but yeah, I'm not really, I'm not fooling with sweater weather, y'all. I'm not, mm -mm, it's not for me. But yeah, this one is Sunrise Wood. So this one has actually been out. Um, this one and the other two in this collection have been out, but I'm just now getting around to smelling them and trying them. So the notes in this one are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and koji cashmere. I already figured that I was going to love this one just because there's sandalwood and berries and cashmere. So, and the packaging is really, really pretty. Um, and I've been kind of seeing this one around on Instagram a lot. So I think the general consensus is that people really like this one. So let's see. Yeah, mm, this smells really good, y'all. And I remember liking the candle of this. Like if that walkthrough video I posted, I, re I remember liking the, this in the candle. I really like this. It's very sweet. Um, it's a sandalwood done right. Like this is a woody note done right. Like this is like what I wish uh, sweater weather would have gave like I feel like the woods took over in sweater weather whereas this one it's just like the sandal one is creamy I think anytime it's like a creamy woody you know I think it works better and this is creamy sandalwood mm. and then you get like the little juiciness from the berries and kind of like that musk vibe like I don't know I smell musk in here it says it's cozy cashmere but I would go as far as to say it's basically just a musk scent or maybe like amber or benzoin or something like that that gives it like a richness yeah I really like this y'all I really like this this is definitely going to be another one that's going to be great for layering um yeah I really like this. This is also reminding me of perfumes. I can't think of the perfumes right now, but yeah, I'm gonna play around with this. But yeah, I really like this one for sure. Um, I would give this one an eight out of 10, eight out of 10. My mind might change as I wear it and use it, but yeah, first impressions, 
definitely an eight out of 10. The next one is the Golden Hour Coast. I was actually most excited to smell this one because I know this is the one that has like the pear note in it. And I've been really, really into pear this summer. And I feel like pear is one of those fruits that is great in the summer and in the fall. So I was very excited to get my hands on this one. Um, the notes in this one are sun-kissed bergamot, golden pear, and radiant wood. So this is another fruity pear citrus type of scent. I gotta start tearing these y'all because I'm running out of card uh, paper. But um, let's see, girl. I just love the new atomizers, y'all. Like ever since they changed the atomizers in these, these have just been so great. Hmm. It's super light. I'm smelling bergamot and pear. Hmm. Let me put some of the, let me put some of the body cream on because right now I'm not I'm not smelling anything. And I was ashy. I literally did not put no lotion on because I was like I'm gonna put some of this lotion on during this video. So I guess it's gonna be this one, girl, because I need to see what's going on. Okay. This is just a very light pear scent, y'all. Like, I feel like I'm going through the same thing with this one that I went through with Poppy, where I was like, this smells good. I can't figure out what I'm smelling because it's so light, but it smells good. It's just super faint, y'all. Yeah. I don't know. I was the most excited for this one, but okay. I think once it settles down, I get more sweet, juicy pear. But yeah, overall, it's still pretty light to me. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with this one. But I do smell pear and bergamot. I smell like a sweet, like a juicy zing, like with that pear. It does smell good though. I do like the scent. I wish I could smell it more. Um, yeah. As it settles down, I get a little bit more of that woodiness. So it gives it a more mature vibe where it's not just like a sweet, sweet pear. But, um, I don't know y'all, I'm gonna have to play around with this one. Right now, I'm gonna give this a five out of 10 because I like the scent a lot and um, it has a lot of potential. I'm just not smelling a whole lot right now. It's just super, super light. So, I mean, if you want like a skin scent that's like not offensive, this might be for you, but it smells good. Like this could easily be an office scent. This could easily be a work scent, a school scent, uh, going around older people who are sensitive to smells type of scent. But it's definitely not beast mode. It's not projecting a lot. It's just kind of like, I'm, I'm searching. I'm searching, you know? But when I find it, I'm like, oh, okay, that smells good. But I was expecting a little bit more from this. I wanted a little bit more. So yeah. To the end, we're getting down to the end. So this is the next one. This is Autumn Drive. Um, this is another one that I've been seeing a little buzz around on the net. So the notes in this one are wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch. Oh, girl, that's that sounds good. Raspberry and amber by itself, honey. That already smells good. Sounds good, but let's see. Okay. Okay. This is good, y'all. This is good. I'm gonna put some of the cream on because I really can barely even smell the um, other one anyway. So I might as well put something else on top of it. Let's see, cause I think I like this. Oh yes, y'all, I like this. I like this. I like this a lot, y'all. Oh, that raspberry in here smells so good she's like 
a sweet raspberry, like, but it's not like childish sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, yeah. Raspberry and amber together, baby, that gives you like almost like a raspberry candy type of vibe. This smells so good, y'all. Mm. Oh, this is another one that's going to be a perfect layering lotion. And I know I talk about layering a lot with lotions, but I'm just like, I, it's rare that I'm literally only going to wear the Bath & Body Works Body Cream and Fine Fragrance Mist. Um, I mean, sometimes I do if I'm just like running to the store or something, but I almost always top it off with a perfume. So I just feel like, you know, I, I like mixing stuff. Like, it's fun to just literally get up and say, hmm, this might go good with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't know. I find enjoyment doing that. It, it just makes my day. But yeah. I will say, y'all, this is not another, this is another one that's not super loud. Um, It does give me way more than the uh, Golden Coast or whatever one I just talked about. But it's definitely not beast mode or anything. I feel like none of these have been particularly beast mode, I would say, as far as scents, because again, they are fine fragrance mist, but I have had Bath & Body Works fine fragrance mist that give a lot and they're strong and perform like perfumes, like fairy tale, for example. So I don't think any of these so far have been on that level where they're like super loud, super projecting, but this one definitely smells good. I would probably say, yeah, this, yeah. This is good, y'all. I like this one. This is a perfect fall scent, perfect transition scent. Like the the raspberry is very like rich. And then whatever the, I think it's like a woody note that's in here. Vanilla birch. Yeah, vanilla birch is another um, like woody type of note. But yeah, mm. I really, really like this, y'all. I really like this. I'm definitely a fan. I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10. Eight eight nine out of ten we're teetering somewhere if it was stronger i would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 but i'm gonna give it an eight okay hey, y'all before i do the one that i think everybody wants to hear about um i picked this up purely for nostalgic reasons okay this is the scent that i had in my bath and body works collection when i first started my bath and body works journey i'm talking about when i was in like middle school or however long ago that was this was like my first intro to bath and body works scent and back then I thought it was the best. But then, of course, as I started collecting, I decluttered it out of my collection. And every time I tried to give it a chance at the store, I would smell it. And I'm just like, girl, this is not giving anything. It's giving nothing. And I'm like, you know what? It's been repackaged. Apparently, rumor has it, it's been reformulated. So I'm like, girl, let me give it another try. So this is Miss Warm Vanilla Sugar Honey in her new outfit. She got a new outfit on. So we gonna see, girl, if if it changed or not because i don't know but the notes in here are intoxicating vanilla white orchid sparkling sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood y'all has it always had floral notes in here because i feel like i wore warm vanilla sugar during a time where i did not really pay attention to notes so i don't know but i feel like there wasn't floral notes in here before unless i'm crazy y'all i don't know tell me if i'm wrong but yeah Hey, y'all, I, I still feel the same way about it. It's giving very much nothing. Kind of smells like Play-Doh. Um, they be doing the most outside. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah, y'all, it's not giving. It's not giving. It's not giving anything for me. It's just not giving. Um, I don't even want to say this is a good layering scent because honestly, it's just... Yeah, the scent basically already dissipated. It's already gone. I'm just like, it has so much potential, girl. And I be wanting it to smell like it don't smell. And I think that's where my disappointment comes because I just be expecting it to be something that it's not. And girl, yes, I'm putting on a body cream on top of other stuff because why not? The body cream is a little bit better, but I don't know. The body cream smells a little bit more vanilla-y, but overall, 
it's not doing it for me y'all yeah mm -mm. Mm -mm. warm vanilla sugar baby two out of ten child two a two out of ten she ain't doing it for me okay now the moment everyone's been waiting for at least that's what i've been waiting for girl because i have not smelled this and this is literally the most hyped up thing right now in the bath and body works community i feel like i did not smell the candle when i was in store so i can't speak for the candle but i do want to smell that at some point i just really went in for body care but baby this is the midnight amber glow and i have told y'all before i love coffee scents so i was very excited to see that this had a coffee note and i'm like mm, is this gonna smell like ysl black opium like is this gonna smell like um what you call it? Is this gonna smell like Intense Cafe by Montal? Like, what is it gonna give, honey? So let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. The notes are smooth amber, caramel, latte, vanilla, bourbon. What? Oh, that sounds so good. Okay, okay, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. I'm so excited. I'm so dramatic. Girl, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Ooh. Girl, she is it. She's it. She's it, girl. Oh, wow. This? Ooh, baby girl, this is, this is the one. What does it get? Let me put, let me put the body cream on for y'all because I, listen. I done put on so many body creams, but it's okay. Because I really, actually, I still smell the Autumn Drive, y'all. The one with the raspberry, I still smell that one. I love that one. Okay, but let me put on a little bit of Amber Glow on this side. Y'all, the body cream smells weird compared to the fine fragrance mist. What's going on? Is it just me? Why does the body cream low-key stank a little bit? Wait a minute, girl. Hold on. Let me spray this in the cap because now I need to see what's going on. Girl, I don't know what's happening with the body cream of Midnight Amber Glow, but it's not giving the same thing that the mist is giving. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm like dousing myself in it right now. Yeah, okay. So like the first initial spray, y'all, I'm getting, I'm getting a caramel coffee scent. It smells so good and so sweet. Mm. And I'm happy to report it doesn't necessarily smell like YSL Black Opium. Like I feel like it's in the same vibes, but it's definitely its own scent. A very sweet caramelly coffee scent. I will say though, y'all, I don't know what the body cream is giving. It does not smell like this. Like, I can't even tell you what the body cream smells like. It smells kind of weird. Like, there's almost a little bit of fruitiness. I don't know if that's because I've been mix mixing so many lotions, but I don't know what's going on with the body cream, y'all. I might have to try the lotion in this. But the Fine Fragrance Mints, she's bomb, okay? She's the bomb. So, Girl, I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous and I feel like I need to try all my body creams because these are like night and day. Like literally this does not smell like this and it's very weird to me. Um, Yeah, I might need to try like the body butter and the body lotion, but the body cream is giving some weird fruity vibes almost. I don't know, girl, what's going on? Let me know y'all thoughts. If y'all have this, if y'all feel the same way, maybe I got a bad one. I don't know, girl, but... As far as the actual fragrance mist, yes, honey. She's a yes for me. She's definitely a sexy, you know, cozy type of scent. Um, and this is another one I don't, even though these scents are like some strong, like in your face scents, I also don't feel like they're like overpowering. They're definitely like really cozy, like comforting type of vibes like replicas coffee break but like without that lavender or like if you like the vanilla mocha 
cream from last year i feel like that one was like more creamy this one's definitely a little bit more intense and not as like sweet because i think that one had more vanilla and this has like a caramel note so it's a little bit more of like a caramelized decadent type of coffee scent but yeah I definitely really love the fine fragrance mist y'all I don't know what's going on the body with the body cream but I would not recommend the body cream I don't know what's going on like try it in the store before you buy it girl I don't know but the body cream is not giving but the fine fragrance mist baby she's giving she's giving okay it so now I'm gonna rate all of these from like my least favorite i'm not gonna say best to worst because everybody has different scent tastes and that's okay if you don't agree with me or you love something that i dislike you can still tell me like it's fine but in my opinion for me and my personal preference these are the ones that i don't like to the ones that i love okay so first on the list for what i just cannot stand it's gonna have to go to sweater weather girl it's gonna have to go to sweater weather like It's just a little too masculine and weird for me like the apple just it's there but it doesn't blend well with the wittiness to me i don't know it just does not give what i needed to give so the number 10 spot baby she gonna have to go to sweater weather okay wait do i even i'm sitting here doing the top 10 i didn't even count these for y'all let me see how many i have Okay, yeah, I got 10, y'all. That's crazy because I didn't even count these. So yeah, number 10 spot, sweater weather. Okay, y'all. Honestly, I'm sure y'all knew this was coming, but even for nostalgia purposes, I'm not fooling with her. She ain't giving what she need to give. And I really would have put both of these at number 10. But if I had to pick a number nine, it's going to be warm vanilla sugar. She doesn't give. She doesn't smell like her name. Literally smells like Play-Doh. Um, I don't know. It just ain't for me and that's coming from a gourmand lover and i normally i know this sounds weird but there are like some play-doh we type of like scents that i like but this ain't one of them okay yeah she ain't doing nothing for me so okay y'all so in the number eight spot is going to go to golden hour coast i actually do really like how this smells um i just feel like it's hard for me to smell it if that makes sense like it's just very light it's very subtle it's not, you know, it doesn't project as much as I would want it to. It's very much a skin scent. Very much something I would have to layer with other things. And I still don't feel like it would add anything extra to any other scents. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this one could have given more, especially with the notes. Like, I would have appreciated if the pear was a lot stronger in here. But overall, it's just not. So, this is going to get number eight for me number seven is gonna go to cozy season again i really really like this one i do feel like this one can lean slightly masculine though with the lavender but it is a sweet lavender i do think it's nicely done i don't feel like it's something that i'm gonna super super reach for this will probably be something i might maybe wear in the house or like around my family or something but it does smell really good and i think they did a great job with actually creating the scent and blending everything together it's just not one of my personal favorites and not something that i know i'm going to reach for as someone who appreciates more sweet type of scents so yeah okay y'all this is about to get hard because i think the rest of these i actually really do like for the most part so let me see what number six is gonna be okay so number six i think it's gonna go to sunrise woods um even though i actually really like how this smells more than um you know her little sister i feel like this is another one that is still pretty light and overall, I feel like this one, even though I really like how it smells, I feel like the candle is a lot stronger than the body care. Um, and I think I like it more in the candle. And I just wish this was a little bit stronger. But I do overall really, really like the scent. So yeah, number six. Y'all. So <laughs> I this was hard, but I really actually love this scent. I love it. And it does last a decent amount of time. Um, I love how nicely the raspberry is blended. Like, I, I definitely feel like I'm going to get some good use out of this for the fall. I feel like the only reason why it's number five is because I like the other four that I'm about to talk about way more. Um, and I still feel like, you know, this is pretty light. It's pretty, like, you know, it's cute. It's pretty. But yeah, it's not all in your face, but I do think that they blended this one together really nicely. So yeah, number five is going to go to Autumn Drive. So literally everything, all three from this line were kind of together, but yeah, it's getting so hard. 
This is getting so hard. Okay. Number four is going to go to Ivory Cashmere, darling. She is literally, she's pretty. She's classy. She's, she is just, I think she's going to be great to layer because I think she's going to add a different dimension and add some depth to your fragrances. Definitely gives me a nice designer, like a Dior type of vibe. Um, it just smells very pretty and feminine and the it almost has like a floral type of vibe. But yeah, I just really like they blended the musk and um, the amber in here really nice. And I just find that I really like musk and amber type of scents on me and then the air in here. It gives this a very rich, expensive smell. And I really, really like this one. So yeah, number three is going to go to Ivory Cashmere, honey number three wait was that i'm sorry i think the last one was number four and this is number three okay pink suede girl i honestly i was going back and forth between this being my number one honestly but i think the only reason why i did not make this be number one or two is because i do feel like this is more of a transitional scent and not necessarily a fall scent like i feel like this is something a little bit more year round this can be a spring scent this can be a summer scent a fall scent a winter scent yeah, it's just very pretty. It's very, you know, fun and flirty. You can wear it with a bunch of different things like the peony in here works, the berries work. It's just really pretty. I would not necessarily classify this as a fall scent though. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, I really, really love the scent. I just don't think it's necessarily a fall scent. So there's that. But this is my number three, Miss Pink Suede. Girl, y'all ready for my number two? Y'all ready for my two? My top two, y'all. Oh my God, I can't believe. <sighs> Let's just talk about it. Okay, my number two is gonna have to go to Bonfire Bash, girl. I have done such a complete 360 with this because I did not like this the first year that it came out. I felt like it was too smoky. I felt like it smelled burnt. Like it did not give for me. And this year, I am glad I gave another chance because, girl, I am going to be wearing this down. This smells so good. Mm. Oh, this is just a gourmand lover's dream. Yes, girl. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Uh, it Honestly, I really feel like this and my number one are pretty much tied. But yes, this is my number two girl, Bonfire Bash. I think the only reason why I put her as number two is because she's not really new. But this is my number two from the fall scents. Hey girl, and my number one, Miss Midnight Amber Glow. Honestly, y'all, I feel like this, I feel like this and Bonfire Bash really are tied for number one only because the consistency with this like the fact that this does not smell like the fine fragrance mist is really irking me so i'm gonna have to hopefully try this in like the body cream um not the body cream the body butter or the body lotion but yeah this is like not giving what i needed to give for the body cream but the the fine fragrance mist girl she's the one. Oof, yes oh oh my god it smells so good and it, I would say if you like coffee scents, you'll like this, but honestly, I can't even distinctly identify the coffee note, which is good because sometimes coffee notes can go over a little bitter. I feel like the coffee and the caramel are blended so nicely. Like, oh, it smells so good, girl. I love it. I just need, and the vanilla bourbon. I forgot there's vanilla bourbon in here too. So that's probably why it's just, it's more creamy and like well blended. Um, but yeah, girl, I don't know what's going on with the body cream. I'm not feeling the body cream. I'm gonna have to try this in the lotion or the body uh, butter and hope that it gives me something better to pair with this. But I love this. This is definitely my number one. It's really tied with Bonfire Bash for my number one, but I'm gonna give it to this because if you like sexy, seductive, sweet, sultry type of scents, this is definitely gonna be for you. This is definitely not for, you know, anyone who likes you know, florally or like super fruity type of scents or light playful scents. Like this is definitely not that. This is definitely for somebody who 
can appreciate these type of notes. So yeah. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. Y'all let me know in the comments below which of my videos y'all want me to do next because I have no idea which one I'm about to film today or tomorrow. Um, it's either gonna be my empties, my gigantic Marshall CJ Maxx haul, or um, it won't be the, it probably won't be the Ulta haul, y'all. So it's gonna be one of those two. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. And also y'all, we are almost at 2K, so Y'all, please help me out. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment, all that, share it. Because once we do hit 2K, I will be doing a giveaway. So, yes. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.